Okay, in this video, we're going to wire up a one bedroom house for the lights, the smoke detectors, and the bathroom fan. In a previous video, I talked about the CC rules for the placement of lights and light switches. One of the things that they mentioned that they advocate is that we have to have a switch for an outside light at each entrance. So I'm going to, this is a lovely porch. I'm going to put two lights on this porch. And then I'm going to have a outside switch for the back door. And it's just one light at the top of the stairs there should do. So now we've met that rule. We also saw that every single room has to have a light switch and a way to turn on light when you get in the room. For this wiring example, I'm not going to do any switched plugs. Just gonna do regular lights. And often when we're laying out a house, what we do is we pretend that we're the homeowner coming home with a pile of groceries perhaps. And so when I walk in this house, I probably want to hit the first switch that I come to, and that would be the entrance light. And so right here, as you come in the front door, you hit that switch. And we, that can just be a single pull switch and gets you lit up as soon as you walk in the door. Now also, you may want to get over to the kitchen. And this is a very small house. I think I would put a three-way switch there and that would be for the living room. And in this case, I'm just going to put a couple wall sconces by these windows. So they're actually wall lights. And those lights are going to be my living room lights and they're going to be on a three-way switch. Which I'm going to put them on a four way switch so that I can head for the bedroom or go come up, come in, or go into the kitchen. So I'm going to put the three way right there. So those are for my living room lights. So when I walk in, I can turn the entrance light on or I can turn on these wall sconces and I can get over to the kitchen. And then when I reach this area right here, I'm going to want to put another switch on that wall. It's probably going to be a three-way switch as well. And it gets me to the back door. And that's gonna be for my kitchen lighting. Now, this is a very small kitchen. I think we're going to have a nice set of lights over top of the kitchen sink that lights up. Maybe there's three pot lights along here. It lights up that counter nice. And those are on my three-way switches. The other thing is, um, if I was walking then out of the back door, I could turn off these kitchen lights and turn on the outdoor light. Um, I think I'll also, because of the laundry right here, put a light, an entrance light, and that would be the first switch that you would turn on when you come in. Come in, this entrance light would come on. If I want more lighting, I could turn the three-way switches on, which turns all those pot lights on. And then my outside light is also switched from that location. So I go back to, if I wasn't going to the kitchen, say I was going straight to bed, I could turn the three-way switch lights on for these wall sconces and then get over here. And when I reach here, um, I could turn those living room lights off and now I could go into the bedroom and I could have a single pole switch at the bedroom and that might just be for a center light right here. Now I might also decide that I want to go to the bathroom down this way. 
You put a hallway light closet right up that little hallway. And then once I get in the bathroom, probably going to want two switches, one for a sink light and one over top of my general area. And then I also need a fan. Fan light and the fan often goes right here. Now the other thing I'm going to need is the smoke detectors and the smoke detectors are in the National Building Code. So we need a smoke detector when we first enter a bedroom and we also need a smoke detector before we enter into that bedroom. If there was um, gas appliances, we also need carbon monoxide. Uh, detection as well. So I think we've pretty much got all of the lights, smoke detectors, and the fan laid out. And on the next video, we'll wire this up.